I am a cart narc, and that's a. You're a cart narc. It's a very, better than everybody, aren't well, you? By definition, what yeah. What a slime ball! Are you gonna put this on YouTube? Thank you for taking your cart back. Hashtag cart narcs. That's a handicap spot, ma'am. A person could die. What's up, everybody? So real quick, I want to give an apology for the lack of uploads the last couple of days. I've been moving. I had my PC and mic and everything packed up, so I wasn't really able to make a video. But I'm all moved in now, so hopefully there will be no hiccups. I'm guessing the audio is going to sound a bit different. Probably not for the better. I'm hearing a bit of an echo on my end. I don't know how the mic's going to pick that up. So work with me for a few days while I try to get everything figured out. But with that being said, today I have a treat. A little while ago, I'm made a video about a channel called The Cart Narcs, a group of people who go around harassing people that didn't put their shopping cart away. No, I'm not making it up. Yes, I really wish I was. But this is like a full-on channel that spans across the country, even into other countries outside of the US. It's a big deal. And I found this very amusing interaction between this cart narc and this older woman. And while I've said before it's a pretty crappy thing to not put away your shopping cart, I don't think it really warrants this kind of response. But both people in this video kind of suck, so I don't really feel bad talking about them. In my last video about this one, they targeted what was very obviously a woman who was not having the best day, and I was a lot more on her side. But the guy doing the video today was a little bit more respectful, still obnoxious. So we're gonna see how that plays out. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Oh man, that's not where the carts go. This is not, this is between the spots here. You're supposed to take your carts back to the, uh... Do you, do you work here? Ma'am, I'm with the cart narcs. Okay. What we do is we narc out people who are being big old lazy bones and not taking their carts are you, back. Are you taking video of me? It always gets me how these guys walk up and introduce themselves like they're part of some sort of government-funded organization. Yeah, ma'am, we're with the cart narcs. I'm officer number 773. I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions. Like, dude, you are just a guy with an iPhone. Well, yeah, that's how we can shame other, you, show other people. Man, you can't take, well... You can't, you can't film me without my permission. Let's not, let's not get to pass the point. The point is you didn't take no, your cart back. the point is... The point that is you didn't... You, no. that you're filming me without but my why permission. why am I doing that? Because I'm a documentary filmmaker, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't get no, my why permission. am I, why... This is one thing I don't really understand. Firstly, I'd like to point out that if this woman is really a documentary filmmaker, I'm sure she would know that you don't need somebody's permission to film them in public. But secondly, I mean, do these guys really think that they are going to make a difference? Like, I'm sure somebody who's going to leave their card out is just gonna do it even more out of spite if this was to happen to them. I don't think you're changing any hearts this way. Like, I would just say to go volunteer as a cart returner if you're really that worried about this. I don't I, give my permission That's great, you. but why am I doing that, ma'am? Because, because you were- no, because you're a lazy bones and you think you're better than everybody. You can't take you your card think back. You're better than everybody. That's right. You. Because I am. Because you see, this is where I start to find them both increasingly annoying. I mean, the guy recording saying that he's better than everybody. At first, I thought it was a joke, but he repeats it many times throughout this video, so I think he might actually be serious. I mean, I don't know what the cart narc elites are feeding their soldiers, but it's got to be something crazy for them to think that they're this important. Cart narc. Yes, oh, ma'am. Yes, you are. I am a cart narc, and that's you're a. a cart narc. It's a very, You're better than everybody, aren't well, you? By definition, what yeah. What a slime ball. Are you going to put this on YouTube without my permission? The, possibly, ma'am. But the point is to shame you and other people like you into being better people. And don't call me a slime ball either, so I'm a nice guy. This is one of the most, like, chaotic yet polite disagreements I've ever seen. I mean, the insults flying are slime ball and lazy bones. I mean, this has got to be like a Canadian sect of California or something. Oh, ma'am, what's going on here? Now listen, I don't know why you're being so angry when I'm clearly in the right and you're clearly in the wrong. Now what do you, oh, you have a cell yeah, phone as well. Yeah, I do. So what are we talking about here, yeah, ma'am? Yeah, so what are we saying? Ma'am, can I have your name, please? So what are you saying? So are you fi filming me without my permission? Ma'am, I'm filming you because you left your cart in the middle of the spot. Mr. Narc Marks. Mr. Narc Marks. You know, I honestly think I like that name more. I mean, seriously, cart narcs is a mouthful. Try saying that three times fast. It's not even catchy either. I mean, there's so many other good options they could have gone with. The shopping sheriffs, the buggy boys, the cart cops, the unemployed. I mean, there's just so much potential there. Cart narcs, ma'am. Cart narc, so yes. you belong to 
No, no, I'm an independent secret agency that narks out you're people who are- You're a secret agency. Yes, they are. Great, and you're filming me well, yeah, without we... asking me my permission. That's for your safety and my, my safety. Sa you know, I really want to believe that this guy is just messing with this woman, but part of me has to believe that he really thinks he is part of a secret agency. Once again, I don't know what they're being fed, but it's got to be something insane. D, it's right. not for my safety. It's for your social media business. No, no actually, what, ma'am, what this is, is just- What is this? This is you being- an no, no, ma'am, who left their card out first? You, not me. Who left their card out? Do you know when they pay people to pick up the cards? Ma'am, we hear- Is it your job? Ma'am, we hear that argument a lot. Let me explain why that- We? Who are we? We are the cart narcs. Me and my other agents are the cart narcs. And really, do you get paid by the cart narcs? Yes, we do. Now, let me There is absolutely no possibility that he is actually getting paid for this, right? I mean, that has got to be just a throwaway comment to get her to stop talking, right? How would you even apply for this job? Yes, I have no shame. I will walk up to anybody. I can start tomorrow. Explain why that's you a bad argument. Oh, if I can address okay, your point, please. yeah. By that, that's a make work job. By that logic, I could just litter or key people. I don't litter. Well, you, I don't litter. Okay, that's good. So you're halfway there. Yeah. But by that logic, I could key that person's car because that makes really? a job for. So let's see. Now hold on. You're not, you're not let me explain. I could no, key. I'm letting you explain. I'm pissed. I, I'm pissed because you're taking a video of me. Ma'am, you're, you're trying pissed to shame because me because you think I am you are better you. than me. I am. No, no, I don't care. I'm gonna leave my cart right here, guy. Ma'am. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you that you don't have my permission. That's fine. To use my video. You don't have my permission. I haven't finished my analogy yet. By your by your thing that like oh Is they paid. No, no, it's not, ma'am. Oh. By your analogy, I could just key cars because that makes jobs for I don't auto key detailers. Cars. All right, so as annoying as these guys are, I will admit that this is a fairly good point. And don't get me wrong, it's not like I've been advocating for not returning your shopping cart. I honestly don't think I have ever not returned a shopping cart. It's just what I was taught to do. So I agree that people who don't put them up are annoying, and this is a pretty good way to think about it. Sure, people are paid to return them, and if we were in a perfect world where there was no consequences to leaving one out, yeah, you probably could get away with just saying, somebody gets paid to return them. But since they can cause damages, running into cars and stuff, or taking up parking spaces, it doesn't really work. So yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good argument. And there's really no good response to it. Okay, but, you but I can't my cars out. key. I'm not do- I'm not vandalizing, I'm not breaking These cards- the these cards roll into and in ding people's cars. We see it all the time, ma'am. This- ma this cart- this cart was not rolling and dinging. Not at the- well, but if the wind you, catches it, we see it all the time. You are a total egotistical pick. No, ma'am, what you're I am is here. in the right. No, you are, you're not in the right. What you are is a nosy body. What you are is trying to well, make money Well, but that logic, cops YouTube. are nosy bodies for enforcing you're the rules. You're trying to make the rules? Yes. There's no rules that say I have to put my cart there. I know, it's common decency, but you lack. Wow, so this is shaping up to be a real philosophical matchup here. Because, you know, fair enough. You can't really argue that it doesn't say anywhere that you have to return them. Sure, it is common decency, but so is a lot of things that people don't do. And once again, this guy comparing himself to the police, I mean, come on, dude. You hold no authority. You are, once again, just a guy with an iPhone. If you were so good at enforcing the rules and you actually had that sort of power, you wouldn't need to be doing this. You lack common decency. What I'm, are you going to do with the video? I'm going to help show people how to behave are properly. Are you going to put this on YouTube so you can make money? Ma'am, I'm going to put it wherever I please. The point oh, is... Oh, I see. You're going to use my video wherever you please so you can make money? I will admit that you acting like this and being kind of a B-word is helping me out because... I'm being a B-word? Well, your voice is raised well, and mine is not. No, you're not because you're being a pig, okay? How is it a pig to you're... enforce rules and be clean, clean and try... Oh, you just tried to steal my phone. That's attempted theft, no, ma'am. I didn't try to steal your phone. I'm trying to stop you from picking a video of me. Well, what did you... Why am I doing it, though, ma'am? You're not addressing the root cause of your laziness. Thank you for taking your cart back. Hashtag Cartnarks. That's a handicap spot, ma'am. A person could die. These videos are so unintentionally hilarious. I mean, okay, yeah, dude, it's a scummy thing to do, but I think you might be exaggerating the situation just a touch. I mean, how would that even play out? How could that possibly cause somebody to die? Well, that's pretty much where the video ends. He just screams a few more. You haven't learned your lessons yet at her as she walks into the store, but nothing really develops past that point. You know, this channel really tears me internally because I want to be on the cart narc side. I mean, I agree that everybody should put away their shopping carts. If you don't, you're just unbelievably lazy. It's usually like 20 feet at the most. So like, if you can't do that, I don't know how you even manage to get to your car. But they go about it in such an obnoxious way that I want to agree with the person they're filming. This channel is just a roller coaster of emotions. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's it's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.